All right, what's good, YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick video on why I think people are bad at Tekken or why people are hard stuck in the ranks that they are or why you can't rank up. I don't really know what I'm going to title this video. Um, I just want to come up with this quick video and disclaimer, I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad or any type of way or whatnot or insult players or be an elitist. I'm against that elitist mentality, but... I do get sometimes I get questions when I'm streaming on how do I rank up or what am I doing wrong or how do I get better at Tekken or what is it about my gameplay that is just preventing me from ranking up and I'm just be completely honest and I'm gonna say 90% of the players that play Tekken or any fighting game in general that are hard stuck at a rank or are unable to get better it's mainly due to two things one is the this is probably the more popular thing that you've heard people talk about people like main man talk about this all the time is lack of matchup knowledge like a player lacking in most knowledge of most of the characters because a game like tekken you're going to need to learn how to defend and fight against the cast in order to rank up so just a go-to quick thing is if you're not sure what your rank in this game should represent, your rank in this game should represent either two, two or three things. One, the amount of knowledge you have on matchup knowledges in the game. So if you're a high rank, you should be proficient at fighting most of the characters in the game. Or you're very proficient with the character that you're playing that has that rank attached to it. The You could be someone that may not know matchups, but you're you play the character very well and you do well against people that don't know the matchup and you take advantage of it but for the main reason if you want to be a solid player and you're at a high rank it should be because for these two reasons you have strong fundamentals one and two you have you know have a good majority of how to handle most matchups in the game which has allowed you to rank up now most people that have trouble ranking up in the game it's Mainly, in my opinion, it's due to flow charting. Now, if you don't understand what flow charting is, flow charting means as a player, you do the same set string of moves over and over in the same situations, regardless of whether the, it's being effective or ineffective against the player you're fighting. Now, this gets people hard stuck because once they fight someone that actually knows the matchup or is not allowing them to start their own offense because they're a more offensive player and they're unable to defend against their opponent because they lack matchup knowledge. See where I'm going with this? They're unable to win and they get hard stuck. In my opinion, being a flowchart player is the main reason people are unable to rank up in this game. Like I said, when you flowchart, you do the same set of moves regardless of whether it's effective or ineffective. So people like this typically only rank up when they fight someone that is lacking in the matchup they have no idea what's going on in the matchup and these are the type of players that will cherry pick those players that don't know how to fight their character and rank up and eventually get demoted by someone that does know how to fight the character or has better offense because they don't know much matchups in general in the game and that's what it all boils down to so i'm not trying to be an elitist or anything like that tekken is a very extremely hard game to play but if you're wondering why you're hard stuck maybe got like 3,000 wins, but you're only at like Overlord or something It's mainly due to the fact that you're probably lacking knowledge You're probably lacking knowledge on how to defend against most other characters Which is what the labbing is for is what trading mode is for training mode is not just for practicing combos It's also about you know learning how to defend against the most of the cast and seeing what they can do and how to punish Which way to sidestep and that's what it all boils down to so if you're one of these players that's flow charting just look at your replays learn i suggest learning multiple characters helps breaks the flow chart but if you're wondering why you're hard stuck it's mainly due to flow charting and lack of match acknowledgement and that's it like i just want to do a quick video on this uh you can catch me on twitch enjoy the rest of the video i'm out i'll have to handle this myself do you have the target in your sights Prepare the SWAT team. I'm going in. K.O. 